So I don't know how to tell you this, but there's microplastics in your blood, brain, and balls. Not to mention in the air, our water, and our food. That's why the world was trying to put together a global plastics treaty, which was supposed to solve all of the, the, you know. But it failed. There's good news and bad news here. The bad news is, of course, that there's no treaty. The talks collapsed and no one could agree to binding targets to reduce plastic pollution. Just a handful of countries blocked the consensus. And you'll never guess who it was. It was America! The US, Russia, and petro states like Saudi Arabia and Kuwait torpedoed the deal. And so now you're saying, how could there be good news? And there is, kind of. The vast majority of countries were ready to sign the treaty, and despite loads of lobbying from the plastics industry, pushing fake solutions like, just recycle harder, man, most of these countries even supported capping the production of plastic which would really solve the problem. This means that most countries are ready to tackle the plastic problem and could even do it on their own, like Canada's single-use plastic ban. At least until the US and other petro-states are ready to either catch up to the rest of the world or be left behind.